Hey guys, so welcome to World of My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City today. We're going to be finishing off the interior to the supermarket. We can't spend any more time here. But I've gone ahead and I've started putting some shelves down to the electronics department where we're going to have game consoles, the games, TVs, CD players, uh, tablets iPads, all that kind of stuff, the, the stuff that I always beeline to when I <laughs> when I go into a, a supermarket, I always, straight there, that's where I want to go, see what games are out. Oh, and I also, I put some note blocks in my uh, hot bar because there was a pretty good idea suggested that we put note blocks around the place, like on the ceiling, for like little tannoys, and I thought, oh, you know what, that's actually a really good idea. So we shall put a counter in here. Uh, I want a stair. Boop. And then we'll put these on here. Then they usually keep the drawers, uh, like, like the drawers are full with games behind the counter. And then at the back here, I think again, I'm going to go with these shelves. And I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm trying to sort of vary the height of some of these shelves as well. Just so we get a little bit of sort of depth. I can imagine like the TVs are up here or something like that. They're stacked a little bit taller. But yeah, just getting them, having them all the same height sometimes might look a little bit boring. Oh, do I just put some holes in here just for fun? I sort of don't mind it. It's just not spaced all that well. I... <laughs> no. Like, I like it, but I don't know why I would do it. I think it's a cool design, but I just don't know why why you would do it like that. So, yeah, nice big games console. I might even put a couple of tiers on this one. So, I can imagine it being a little bit busy. Okay. Uh, now, this is the way that I've done the floor, by the way, because I know um, it, can, uh, it can take a long time to do. Unfortunately, you have to do half of it by hand. Uh, so, you have to go around with, with one colour and... Be careful not to get the pattern wrong because otherwise when you get back to like an area like this and you go, oh, I've made a mistake somewhere. It's uh, it's really quite annoying to find out where you went wrong. But we shall just put all of these down. Oops. Around here. Pattern's good so far. It, is, it doesn't take too long. It's just, it's just a pain. But once you've got half of them done... As long as you've got world edit, you can then go kapow, kapow, replace air with, with, what's it? Oh, I've forgotten what the blooming 171.8. Replace air with 171.8. And it fills in the rest for you. And then all you got to do, it's underneath these shelves, is set 5.1. I put little promo ends on the front and backs of these. So like the game of the week, deal of the week. Offers ending soon, the best PlayStation deals that are out at the minute, all that kind of stuff. Oh, I didn't go all the way with the, uh, that one, kapow. Behind here again, we're going to go with white carpet. I don't know how the staff get in here, but I'm really not all that bothered. I could make this a little hole if you wanted to. Oops. We could go like that. Trap door. And then that would be grey. Nope, not carpet. Wool. I don't know if you want to. Let me get in. I think we can get into the... We can get into the fish one. We can't get into this one. Maybe I put a door through here. We cover that up. Yeah, that works. There we go. Now we can get everywhere. We can we can access all of the places. Yeah, I think these tills look really cool. I think they worked out really nicely. I think that's good over here. If we could put down our, our little department divider. A slab. Games, consoles, TVs, headphones, like that's what it would say all along the along the top. Okay, now I think I'm pretty happy. I think I'm going to put um, paintings over here. They always have like 
uh, big like AO posters of well all sorts really I don't even mind them big ones I don't do big ones oh I'd like that one but I like it over a bit no not McDonald's They're like posters of deals that they've got coming up um, I think advertising fast food in, in here would be all that good oh that's not a nice one I would like ah, I'd like that other one back again it was a Donkey Kong wasn't it Uh, you know what i'll do something like that that works out nice again we'll have them along this wall i don't mind doing Ooh, ooh! i've never put them next to each other like that before you know i might ah that's a good one yeah okay so there's some big posters going along the walls there films that are coming out offers games call of duty all that sort of stuff I have another one on here. Can I get a big one? Come on, Donkey Kong. Have I got to click here for Donkey Kong? In a minute, I'm going to go with the KFC. I've already got that one twice. I'll have the pig again. Okay, I think that's about the only spots that we can do that in. That works out really well. Note block, before I forget. Let's just get some note blocks. Just, uh... In the corners, over the doors. Oh, talk that. We should probably put some door alarms in, shouldn't we? About midway down here, up in the clothes department, <clears throat> maybe even the middle here for the staff. Over here in the alcohol. Put another one in the corner there. One in that one. One there. One there. One in the front. Like that. And then maybe a couple in the middle of the shop as well. Just down these middle aisles. One there. One there. Boom, boom, boom. Manager required at till three. Something like that. Okay. Now, roof. The ceiling, sorry. Not roof. The ceiling. Uh, I'm just thinking about some nice slabs that just go down in rows in line with the aisles themselves. And I think you'll be surprised in how much of a difference that would make. We'll split them up. So I'm thinking maybe uh, five blocks between each one. So you'd have you'd have one going up there. One, two, three, four, five. One going up there. One, two, three, four, five. One going up there. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All, all the way up and, and it's just going to dress up the ceiling literally a million times i'll do that off camera though because it's it, they're just a real pain to do um i want to put trolleys down around the place like we were sort of playing around with with the end of last episode um and i think i found a better way to do it i think if we do rail and hop a mine cart and instead of trying to mess about with the floor, we just literally put, we put a block down and then we do it on here and then we break that. And then it's literally, it's like literally three blocks and, and it just goes like really fast then. Doesn't matter what block you place down, you just break the bottom one and then it falls. Just gives us more of an impression that it's being used, that there's, there's shoppers about. I don't know how crazy we want to go with it. You never see too many abandoned trolleys around supermarkets. There's not many of them. You always get abandoned ones outside where they can never be bothered to bring them back because they're lazy. Do we get one here? Oops. I could get one in there. I give it a little push to go down the middle. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Okay, um, so let me get this ceiling done. I'll be back. Huge difference. I think it really just adds a, just that extra level of detail at the build. It's so simple to do. But get, I tell you what, it gives it more of a supermarket feel as well. It makes the place look a lot bigger as well because the lines are all vertical. So it sort of stretches the room out. Now, 
we just get some sort of uh, door alarms on here. I think we'll do them there and there. You know what? It might just be a simple matter of a quartz block. I'll do that one. There and there. And then this little fence. Like that. And then a redstone torch. That's little alarm tops. Boop. Boop. Like that at the doors. Nice, nice and simple. It is always the way the simplest things usually end up being the, the best ideas. So we've got them on the doors. Now, a little bit of lighting required at here. How can we do that? How can I bring down a little bit of light over the top of these tills? Um, it's going to be quite, it's quite a long way to come down. These get activated because of this pressure plate. It's really quite annoying. But, uh, <laughs> oh well. Um, like, how could we do that? And unless, could we hide it behind these trap doors even? I don't really want to bring something down from the ceiling if I could help it. But could we do that? Aha! So that's one that we could hide. And we could hide it on the corner as well here. We could also... Uh, oh no, I can't hide it there. But I can hide it under here. Oops. No, nah, no, no. Hang on. Let me clear my inventory. I'm going to do it nice and neat. I'm going to get that one, that one, that one. Now I'm not getting confused. Okay, so then if we hid it under here... And under this one. Oops. You know, really, this isn't for public because this just goes to the inside of the till here. But that's okay. Ah, right, you now you, you can really see the difference. Look, look how bright this till is down the walkway. And then these ones. Huge difference. Makes a huge difference. So we want this one here. Ah, great little way to hide it. Nope, on the bottom. You might not think it makes it. Does it make a difference if I put it on the top? Yeah, it does. The shadow goes the wrong way. Well, it's weird how it's brighter though that way up, isn't it? The trapdoor is actually brighter there than it is there. How oh, very strange. Okay. Uh, this one. And this is the important one. It's this one here. That's crazy important. This one. And I don't really need it there, but for consistency, I'm going to put it here. And then I think I'm going to add one here as well. So that's this one. That's this one. I didn't know I could actually place it there. I didn't think I was going to be able to. This one. And. This one. Perfect. Okay, so the tills are now bright. Uh, along with the rest of the shop. I think I'm pretty happy on where we are looking here. Now, the last thing that we could do if we wanted to. Is real pain. <laughs> And we grab ourselves a load of different colours. And try and grab like one of each main colour. And then I click on random ones. But trouble is... Ugh, you'd have to... I'd have to do it like... Hang on. Because it actually takes it out. So you'd have to have like three, one, two... Five, six, seven. Oops. Like that. But then I, I'd have to take each one in. 
Hey. Come back. Oh, there we go. Oh, that would take forever to do an entire shop like this. And I'll just pick random ones. Uh, do, do you do it? Does look quite cool though. But I think if you, if you're going to do that, you would probably want to actually make a bit of a pattern out of it. And this isn't actually that hard to do. Like that. I'll do a whole row of those. Man, it's, it, it would take a really long time. I'm going to not waste them because they, they're actually going to run out quite quickly. But man, does that look cool. I tell you what, let's do this one aisle completely. And I'm just, I'm, I'm literally choosing like the most randomest of blocks here to, to do it. I think that's probably the best way. Usually to see which ones I haven't used enough of because I've got the most of them in my, oops, in my inventory. That one. That one. That one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, now this is going to be the do or die. If, when I copy and paste, if, when I copy and paste them, transfers over it doesn't no i thought all right if it if it just transfers it like with the copy oh it didn't actually go then oh, does that mean that these are actually here no oh that's so unlucky how good would have that been i mean the shop would look absolutely amazing with like stock on all of the shelves I mean, that's an hour-long job, though, isn't it? At least. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll see what I can do. I'll see. I'll go until I get bored. I can't do it, guys. <laughs> it's such a dull thing to do. I sort of went with the blue ones on this one. Look, I done sort of uh, orangey, warm colored sort of thing on this one. Sort of done the same at the back here. I was going to do the phrases, but that would mean replacing the glass and then and then putting it behind it. I mean, it would look it would look epic. I mean, look at it like this. It looks so cool with the the stuff actually on the shelves, but um, I can't I can't do it. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to leave it there, guys. <laughs> I've had enough of this supermarket. It's too it's too much and i would so love it if i could do like the alcohol section could be all like brownie blocks and gray blocks green blocks <sighs> no i can't do it though it, it it literally took me like 15 minutes just to literally do that bit it, it's just ridiculous maybe maybe i could just come here like once a week and i can just do an aisle once a week just do like what one aisle and then in like 10 weeks it'll be done something like that i don't know maybe i'll just work on it off camera and stuff when i get a bit of spare time um but yeah no i'm gonna leave the episode there real good fun it looks amazing if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you already then feel free to subscribe and we shall see you in the next episode